welcome 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 i am the empress i'm happy to be here with you today um today we're going to do a read on scorpio moon so if your moon sign is in scorpio you can apply this reading um if you would like to book your very own personal reading that information is going to be in the drop box below all right so let's hop into it all right scorpio moon what messages do we have for my subscribers? Scorpio Moon. Scorpio Moon energy, please. Something did want to jump out, but it, it didn't. <laughs> Ooh, and then I got the hiccups. Hmm. I got the hiccups. Did, is that something that is symbolic? Like, where did that come from? Okay. There we go. Don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your past hold you back. And we got communication is key. Okay, so something here in the communication department could possibly be holding you back. Okay, um, then we got a time for healing and your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, so you have to, I'm getting like, think about, think about your goals. Like, make sure that your goals and what you're trying to accomplish is something that's practical. Um, and communication is key. Communication is key. Don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay, let's get some more cards. Let's see. A win-win outcome is forecast. Your hard work is paying off. Okay, so this is past energy. So something that you did in the past could definitely bring you a win-win situation into your present and future energy. Your hard work is paying off, okay? A time to give rather than take. What else is here? Don't let your pride get in the way. Okay, so something here, Some if some of you have put groundwork um and invested and, and started something in your past um is it's definitely um the harvest is going to be great okay so something that a plan or something that you've been you started on in the past is most definitely going to benefit you in the near future and once you get that once that um, your harvest comes in, you're going to be very abundant. A time to give rather than take. You're going to have more. You're going to have more than enough to give, so you won't feel like you have to take or have. You're going to have more than enough to give. Okay. So let's see. Future energy. Okay, we got a couple cards that want to jump out. I'll take them. I'll see what, what message. At the bottom of the deck, we have show the world the real you. You are good enough. Okay, nothing is yet in stone. And a personal issue reaches a resolution. All right, so some of you may be having issues on whether or not if you are, um, if you show your real self, are you going to be good enough? If you show show who you truly are, um, nothing is yet written in stone. That's I feel like that's a logic, um, or that's a what would I call that? Um, something to affirm to yourself. Like nothing is yet written in stone. So show the world the real you. You can go back and adjust as as you progress. You can fix and and pick up, clean up the mess as you go, but be authentic. 
um, a personal issue reaches a resolution. So something that was personal to you that you may have left unresolved, um, the time in the near future, there's going to be an opportunity for a resolution to um, to you for you to be able to come to a resolution. If you guys hear loud noise in the background, like somebody's talking, please tone that out. Um, but I try to take everything into that happens during these readings into consideration because it could actually mean something like it could be like a, you know something that's relevant. A time to give rather than take. That just wants to come out so. I'm going to I'm going to put it out. It just wants to come out and reveal itself for your future energy. So this is what it is. A time to give rather than take. This just makes me feel like you're going to have abundance, okay? Because you're going to have more to give. I mean, it's not a time to be stingy or hold back or say come from a place of lack. Because I feel like you guys are getting ready, have come into your season of abundance. I'm getting abundance. Some of you may have been seeing the number 888, may have been seeing the number 777. Um, this month, August, I'm deeming this month to be the abundance month. We're in the Lionsgate portal um, right now, and that's the most luckiest energy. Um, I just feel like luck is on your side. I feel like you guys... Um, have entered a season of abundance. What message do you have for a Scorpio moon? Oh, this jumped out. We got playful. Focus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we got focus. Okay, so right off the bat, you guys are possibly being extremely playful or like playing around when spirit wants you to get focused. Okay, there's something that you should be focusing on. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay, that's coming out for present energy. Presently, you guys are possibly not giving um, your full divided attention to something right now. Like you're putting something that's very important on the back burner, but spirit wants you to focus, okay? Wish you would focus. See, look, we got wishing. Wish you would focus. Cycles. The time is winding down, okay? And then we got success right here. Success, okay? Like your season here with cycles, it reminds me of, you know, like seasonal. The time is coming for um, you to take things more serious. Take something more serious. Okay? Because it's going to be successful for you. We got success there. Let's talk about past energy. Win-win situation. Then we got the high priestess of fire. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but the fire energy is something that you could be very passionate about, something that you took action on, like you you took action towards something, and something is going to be very beneficial for you. It's a win-win situation, like you can't lose. There's no way that you can lose in this situation. Uh, we got the moon here, listening, individuality, vision. I feel like the moon, okay, we're talking about your moon energy. Some of you are just listening to um, reading. Some of you could be listening to other readers. Some of you could be listening to, um, this is Pisces and Cancer's energy. I feel like you know that you're different. Like, you know what's special about you. You know that what that you have what what you have to offer nobody else can do what you do how you do it. Okay? Um I just need you to take it more serious. Okay? I need you to take that more serious. 
Like be you, be who, be who you truly are. Show the world who you truly are. For future energy, give me future energy. We got the belonging and forbidden. Wow. You did. You got loyalty. Okay, let's see. Loyalty and wishing success and the fledging. Okay. Loyalty. A time to give rather than take. For some of you, this could be um, the belonging is the four of wands. So this is home life, this is family, and this is marriage, okay? And then we got forbidden. So something is forbidden. Like somebody is, a situation is forbidden. Um, it could be like in a living situation, a home life situation, a community, a group setting. But something is forbidden here. A time to give rather than take. Something's forbidden here. We're going to have to do some more, get some more clarifiers. It's like not belonging in a certain group. It's like you don't belong in a certain group of, of uh, something about not belonging somewhere. Why is playful here? King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You guys, this energy. I feel like emotionally, you possibly feel like all over the place. You you may know that you got some of this, this. You got a lot of things in front of you. Seven of Cups is a lot of different offers, a lot of different options, a lot of different things. But the Knight of Cups is here. So someone's offering you a lot of things. Somebody could also be being very generous with you. Um, offering you um, a plethora of different things here. And this person could possibly be very nice here with this King of Cups. But I'm getting like playful. Like I'm getting like you might be playing with this person. You might not be taking this person as serious. Yeah, see, you don't want this. But this is somebody that you don't want. Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Like, you don't want their what they have to offer. You don't want their love. But you don't want to tell them. Ten of Swords and the, Ace, and the Page of Wands. You don't want to tell them. But you don't want them. You don't want them. You are keeping them around. But you don't want them. You do not want what they have to offer. You don't want it. Okay, we got the High Priestess of Fire. High Priestess of Fire, Seven of Swords, very sneaky, uh, sly energy here. Like, I'm getting very, <laughs> very sneaky, sly energy. I'm getting wait until you need something. Yep. Look, see, let me tell you something. Here go you guys' this energy with the death card here. Okay, this is Scorpio's energy. But what I do have here is the five of pentacles. This is when somebody is like in a bad situation or um, is in need. And then I feel like you wait, you might, you might wait till you, you know, deal with this person when you need them. Okay. Cause I got the 10 of pentacles here. This person may be extremely nice to you and offer you gifts and offer you money and things to that nature. But I just feel like you don't really want to take them serious. I feel like you being a real big player. I'm going to be honest, with the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Wands, we know the Queen of Wands is hella sexy. You might be using your sex appeal. You might be very, um, you know, keep yourself up, wear cute little outfits, put on makeup, you know, and this is very seducing or um, is mind playing to the eye. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Come on, like, this is Scorpio energy. You know, I'm, I'm just being real. Um, three of wands waiting the ten of cups <laughs> waiting for uh, happiness and to keep it going keep it flowing be consistent in making me happy we got <laughs> queen of cups Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy which is you guys' energy here um, but this is like keep keep it up be consistent okay but then we got the fled we got the um we got um, belonging and forbidden. This is really, 
what I want to get to. But I feel like this is a win-win situation. This is what this win-win situation is. Like, um, you got this person kind of like, this person looks at you as the queen of wands, possibly. Like, you're very hot, spicy, like, always on their mind. Uh, but they don't know that <laughs> with the seven of swords energy, they just really don't know what they're really what's really in front of them um very seducing type energy very seducing very seductive and can lead you on you know what you you know what you're doing <laughs> high priestess and nine of wands you know exactly what you're doing to get what you want all right, so let's go to uh, Belonging. King of Swords wanted to jump out. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody is very aggressive here. Moving forward in the future, somebody is very aggressive. Um, you may be waiting for this person to um, give you some type of, of, some type of, a sign that they want you to come back around but their energy is very hostile um somebody's trying to make somebody regret something why is the king of swords here the star card so definitely aquarius's energy i'm getting like somebody's afraid to get hurt or get their feelings hurt because i'm getting like there's like a, a issue a real deal issue here with the five of swords Okay, and something about going to someone's house. Five of Swords, the Chariot, and the Four of Wands. Yeah, it's definitely about going to someone's house. So you may feel like you don't belong in somebody's space, somebody's circle, somebody's home. But, like, the energy that I'm getting is really hostile energy. The Four of Pentacles. Somebody's selfish. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? The Empress and the Six of Cups. I'm getting mother and children. Um, lots of fire energy. Leo. Lots of fire energy here. Sun. Queen of Wands. Strength. King of Wands. Very, a lot of fire energy. Okay, but I feel like somebody decided that, oh, somebody had to get out of some, get out of a situation really, really quick. Like, we got the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Six of Swords. So, that's getting out of a situation, like, leaving abruptly. Um, having to, you know, move quickly. Um, but I'm getting like somebody's kind of mean and um, aggressive. I'm getting that as well. So, that's possibly why Forbidden is here. Like, you don't feel like you are supposed to be there or they're not supposed to be there. Something in that nature. All right. Um, all right, guys. I hope this reading was helpful. And I will chat with you guys later. Guys, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. If you're looking for a personal reading, guys, contact me via email and we can get you set up. All right. Until next time.